Hi, oh, yeah, it's me. I'm in the poly tunnel. I've come back. It's, uh, we've been cutting trees all day at work. At work. Um, and I thought I'd do a little insect safari. I should have some music for it, can't I? That'd be silly. Anyway, no, here we go. So we've got, what have we got? We've got some wood lice. There's a couple of wood lice there. And there's a little grey slug. Can you see the little grey slug? That's that one there. Let's squish you out, little grey slug. Oh, no, you don't want to come out. You want to leave him in. There's two brown slugs there. Three brown slugs. Look at that. I'm going to take this board out of the because it's going to annoy me. So, yeah. There's some brown slugs. There's one here. Let's see if we can move that one. And there's one there. And there's, oh, there's another little tiny one there, look. Little family of slugs. All running about. There's an ant, black ant. Um, what else is there? There's more wood lice. Isopods. Relations to, they're, they're um, crustaceans really, they're related to, which are things like prawns and shrimps and things that live in the sea. Oh, there's a slug there, look, underneath. And there's a whole load more wood lice, a brown one, and there's a little beetle. I'm not seeing lots of springtails like before. Let's have a look under here in that little loop. Is there anyone in there? Nope, no one down there. All right, so we'll put these things back. So it's good to put things back where you find them. There's a big rock there. I'm going to bring that down and put that there. We'll have a quick look into underneath all this mess, all right? Now look. <gasps> wow. Zoom in there, look. Look at all them. I bet there's quite a few family groups there having a party under there, look. Let's just lift that up a bit more. There's loads of them. Loads and loads. Look, that's a pill millipede. Am I looking? Am I looking? That's the pill millipede. Where are you? Where did he go? There he is. And this one's called a pill millipede because he rolls up in a ball like that and then he opens up. Hey, hello, let me out. Anyway, we'll put him back down there. And he's upside down still. And there, and he's off. But that's a pill millipede. Now they're, they're, they're a similar one to the wood lice, except that they can do that thing where they roll up into a ball. And it's just to protect themselves. There are certain spiders that do eat them, and if I find a spider that eats one, I, sh I shall show you. But I can't see them at the minute, so I'm just going to tuck this back in, tip that back over. There's loads of them all running out of the back here, that in amongst the weeds. So there you go. Pill millipedes, wood lice. Oh, look, there's baby ones, look. Aww. Hello. Just hanging out. We'll have a chat. Perhaps it's uh, school time for isopod school time. And there's a pill millipede there, a little tiny one. So we can see there. Can you see that one that's rolled up? Uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll turn that back. We'll put that sort of over there a bit. And we'll put the board back over. And this board as well. Just keep them in the dark a little bit. And uh, yeah, there you go. That was my insect safari hotel. So we're going to have a, we'll have a look at the worm bin. We'll do a little bit of a worm bin update whilst we're here. Um, let me just see. Here we go. Just got to <coughs> step over all this stuff. Okay, here we go. Now in here, I did top up, but I didn't really top it up well. I just chucked it straight on the top. It's like, phew, little flies flying about. I am going to have to get this out of here because the, there's too many bugs and flies in there. Oh, here we go. And there's worms in here. There's loads of algae. Look at that. There's loads and loads of worms. There's so many up this end now. I think they're all here. Look. And they're just munching their way through. <laughs> all the worms are here and they're munching their way through all the vegetable matter. And they're actually doing a really good job. Look, they're breaking all this down. There's a load of paper in there. You can see all the worms in there? Absolutely loads of them. And there's a pineapple top. And they just love it. They just absolutely love it. Let's tip that back. There's, look, there's so many that they're up on the surface as well. That I suppose that's just, I just rolled it up there. But yeah, let's 
tip all this back in, chuck this mango down there, I'm going to chuck the orange down there, I can feel that's going really empty, sort of really hollow. Some old tomatoes, some old avocado, there's all sorts of grapes and onion peel and banana peels and there's an old manky banana. But they're everywhere, look at them. All over the place. So just gonna I'm actually just gonna cover it all up with the um, wood chip. Just give them a little bit more darkness. Okay, so but there's actually where I'm scraping this uh, wood chip up. There's actually loads of worms down this end as well. Look at that. See in the back there, big fat juicy worm. So they're doing a brilliant job and um, once they've munched their way through all this I shall put more in and move them along again. Uh, I'd like to collect some worm castings fairly soon um, because uh, I want to add it to my compost that I'm building and making. Um, the worm tea, I'm, I'm going to have to show you this. Look at that! Wow! And I'll be using that to feed my plants and that that are in the polytunnel, all the tomatoes, the strawberries, all that sort of thing. They'll get a feed and it's like a booster feed for them. Um, that iris has got a couple of flowers coming out, that one, two, and I think it's a purpley one. And the bromeliad is flowering, that top spike just opened. I'll just show you this. Weird flowers, these bromeliads. That's it there, and it's got some blue in it. Can you see that? Just quite pretty. Pink spike with little blue things and they're all inside there, all ready to come out as well. There's quite a few spikes on it. Um, all strawberries are growing really well. Fish are doing well. I've actually fed them already, but if I just, just to show you. Oh crikey, sorry, I'm here. Okay. Oh, there we go, they're coming up already. Greedy buggers. And that big black one there, look. He's got ever such tiny eyes. He's such a massive fish, and yet he's got tiny eyes. I don't even know if you can see him there, look. But all the others are coming up, and they're all munching away on the food, look. In fact, you can't see the little uh, white cloud. I, mean, I can see one, two, trying to swim away from that big black goldfish. I like that, one's, that one there. It's got a huge long tail, look, with like white ends, and that one. Really pretty. So yeah, they're all my comets and my goldfish. And uh, yeah, it's all coming on well. We'll take you for a quick stroll outside. Um, I've just watered everything else. It was a bit limp in here because it must have been sunny during the day, um, which has just made things well over. So, because it must have been boiling hot at some point. As I say, I've been out all day um, chopping down trees and uh, well I haven't been but the lads have and I've been carting all the logs away and there's some logs here um, there's only a few of them actually um, there's a whole load more to come there's some over there in the pile as well um, which I've carted up it smells wonderful in here I'll just show you the log pile Ta -da! it's only a little log pile but it's like two or three van loads and as I say there's a pile up the top end which I've already moved so um, yeah dandelions are doing well and daisies I do like a daisy um, that's the next lot that's coming and look at the dandelions look at all the look at all the seeds down the layer they've all dropped their seeds and uh, it's like snow it's nice isn't it and uh, yeah so there we are and um, I do I just love my flowers and that thing there I said it was, it's not chicory, it's, is it chervil or, mm, I don't know, something beginning with ch, I think. Tarragon's doing well. I showed you all this yesterday, but look, my flowers are coming out and they're pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. What else is flowering? This is an elder flower and I've left it next to the, um, Polytunnel because 
and this is like a, an old wives tale or what but um, apparently if you keep them next to buildings it keeps away evil spirits so there we are there's another elder flower over there that's all elder in the hedge and then this that's all just gone over it's just producing all the berries look so this has all been pollinated and that was that's um blackthorn which is slows and these are going to be the slow fruit which are all forming now so i thought i'd just bring you along and show you that it's my hammock i've not had to use my hammock not had to use i've not been using it because i've been busy working in there but um yeah just thought i'd bring you in for a quick uh, worm bin and um insect safari update so there we are. We could have a quick look under here. There's, there are some, there are some, there's some things here as well. Just wood lice. The floor of my polytunnel is just caked in wood lice, which is nice, isn't it? Anyway, um, even under there, just springtails. But that's it. I think that'll do for just looking at wood lice and things. I hope you're all well and you enjoy my little videos. Alright, nice one. Take care. Cheers.